Welcome back. We are off to the races this afternoon because we're expecting history could be made on the racetrack at the Belmont Stakes this weekend as Justify goes for the Triple Crown. So at Portland Meadows, they are getting ready for a watch party. JT Corrales, the director of operations out there at Portland Meadows, joining us this afternoon. JT, good to see you. You are very excited about the possibility of a Triple Crown winner here. Oh, absolutely. Look forward to witnessing history. Every opportunity I can get one. Now, Portland Meadows, let's get right to the chase. Can, can I bet and make money there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, I can. Now, whether you're going to make money there is a whole other story. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought this was easy. <laughs> His money should be on Justify, though. Tell us why. Well, Justify is the favorite of the race. Um, he's won the first two legs of the Triple Crown and back in the Derby and then the Preakness. Um, now, for me personally, though, I'm not so sure that he's going to be the one to complete the, the leg here because he did have a tough fought race uh, in the Preakness and Bravazo was closing fast and had the race been just the neck longer, he probably would have got caught. So uh, the Belmont Stakes is going to stretch out to a mile and a half while the Preakness was a mile and uh, three sixteenths. And give me a quick review. Is, is the Derby even shorter than the Preakness track? Yes. It is? Yes. So they go short, not as short, and the longest one. Correct, yeah. Okay. Right. Yes, so absolutely. So building up to that mm. big uh, finish. And talk about Triple Crown winners from the past. It's been just a couple of years, but then we had a long dry spell, well, from the 70s on. Yeah, yeah. so 1978 affirmed. Uh, was the last horse to win the Triple Crown, and then we did have the very long drought before American Pharaoh uh, won the Triple Crown three years ago uh, with Bob Baffert, who also is training Justify in the upcoming race. And you say uh, Justify was bought at a bargain price of a half million dollars. <laughs> That's correct, yes. He was bought at the Keeneland sale uh, at a year old. Yeah, before he had ever seen an opportunity uh, at a race. So it's real speculating. So what is the feeling here? You think the horse community is going to be is overwhelmingly expecting a Triple Crown uh, I mean, that, that's a good question. I mean, the horse community certainly wants to see it. You know, it's great for the industry. You know, it's, it's, it's good for camaraderie. Um, so we're all supportive of the idea of it happening. Uh, but, you know, I mean, handicappers are going to look at it. And the favorite of the Belmont Stakes has a 13% chance of actually winning over, you know, for historically here. Uh -huh. So, I mean, even though he's the favorite of the race, there's yeah. really no surefire guarantee he's going to win the race. Okay. How does right. Triple Crown excitement impact what happens out there at Meadows? Uh, it, it's great. You know, I mean, the Kentucky Derby always brings out a, a really good crowd of people. People get dressed up. There's the pageantry to it, the mint juleps. Uh, it, it's a very good time. And then the Preakness kind of has a little bit of a lull to it, you know, because there's, there's this that possible potential excitement of it. But then when you have a horse that goes ahead and wins the first two legs, you know, you get an opportunity to witness history. So it does draw a bit of a crowd for us. Are people going to be all dressed up? I mean, do I look like a bum if I show up in jeans and a t-shirt? I guess that's my question. If I as go long out as you're betting, they won't kick you out. I yeah, mean, is right. Is a festive feeling? Or a lot of people, will they be dressed up though? Uh, I'd, say, I'd say it's a little less than Kentucky Derby. You can okay. come casual. Um, you know, more people are just there for the, the exciting two minutes of the race. Yeah. But JT, you're all turned out and ready to go oh, for the ready weekend. Ready to roll, right. absolutely. JT Corrales, <laughs> the director of operations out there at Portland Meadows, we thank you for stopping by. Thanks for the having race, me. by the way, yeah. you can catch here on KGW NBC at about 337? Correct. All right, we Let's look forward to it. Pull our money and make some money, <laughs> Kathy. Retire after all, huh? There you go. Thanks for having me on, appreciate it.